hello student welcome back to my channel today is i will solve question answer of this lesson this lesson name is latitudes and longitude chapter 2 in geography class 6 first of all i will solve some question in book let's begin now choose the correct answer and fill in the blank first there are dash parallels in each hemisphere answer 90 second the total number of meridians across the globe is 360. Third, the Tropic of Cancer is located at latitude answer 23 and a half north. Fourth, the standard meridians of India is 82 and a half east. Five, the prime meridians passes through Greenwich. B state whether true or false. If false, correct the statement. First, the 23 and a half south latitude is called is Tropic of Capricorn. False. This is false sentence. Correct is the 23.5 23 degree latitude is called the Tropic of Capricorn. Second, the fresh zone is the hottest zone false it is wrong sentence right sentence is the fridge zone is the coldest zone three the places in the west are ahead in time than places in the east it is false right is places in the west are behind not ahead right is behind b e h i n d behind in time then places in the east four when GMT is 2 p.m., IST is 7.30 p.m. It is true sentence. Okay. After that, I will solve fill in the blank. C. The earth rotates on its axis. Second, the equator and the meridians of longitudes are called great circles. Third, the temperate zone is neither too hot nor too cold. For the meridians meet at the poles. Okay, student. I will solve some question. I mean to say I have done some question in book. After that, uh, long question answer in notebook. Second, latitudes and longitudes. Answer the following question in 10 to 20 words. First, what are parallels of latitudes? Answer is all parallel circles from the equator up to the poles are called parallels of latitude. Second, what are meridians of longitudes? Answer, longitudes are imaginary lines that run from north to south connecting the poles. There are 360 longitudes in total 180 in each hemisphere including the prime meridians. Okay, straight. Three. What are the hottest and the coldest zone of the earth respectively? Answer, the hottest zone of the earth is the torrid zones. It, li it lies between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. This zone is closer to the equator and receiver direct rays of the sun. The coldest zone of the earth is the fridge zone. It lies between the Arctic circles and the North Pole in the Northern Hemisphere and between the Antarctic circle and the South Pole is the Southern Hemisphere. Four question. What do you understand by local time? Answer, time is calculated on the basis of longitudes or meridians. The earth rotates from west to east and the sun's ray fall according to so. We have morning, noon and evening. E. Answer the following questions in 50 to 70 words. First, distinguish 
between latitudes and longitudes latitude and longitude first latitude is the angular distance of a place north or south of the equator longitude is the angular distance of a place east or west of prime meridians second the latitude's value increases in north south direction from the equator second the longitude values increases in east west direction from the meridian 3 it value ranges between 0 degree to 90 degree north 0 degree to 90 degree south latitudes its value ranges value ranges between 0 degree to 180 east 0 degree to 180 west degree west what do the term gmt and ist mean answer answer green which mean time is based on the prime meridians that passes through green which london measured at 0 degree and the base timing here the base timing here is taken at 12 noon it help to remove confusion and calculate the globe time easily second its mean indian standard time and is based on the meridians that passes through prayagraj in uttar pradesh therefore in order to avoid confusion i standard time is followed based on ist ist is 51 by 2 hours ahead of the gmt 3 what is the relationship between longitudes and time answer the local time of any places on the globe is calculated based on the longitude is passes by the earth takes 24 hours to complete on rotation so the earth is divided into 24 time zones each longitude is marked with 1 degree 1 degree and the earth takes 4 minutes to cover it to calculate calculate the global time we have greenwich mean time or gmt likewise every country has its own time zone some have more than one due to their large area in india we have only a single time zone which is based on 85.5 degree east longitudes and passes through prayagraj uttar pradesh four how is the equator different from the prime meridians answer there are a total of 180 parallels and the equator is the longest one it divides the earth into the northern hemisphere and the southern one and measures 0 degree measures 0 degree there are a total of 360 longitudes and the prime meridians is the central one it is also measured at 0 degree but divides the earth into the eastern and western hemisphere gmt green which mean time is calculated based on the prime meridian if answer the following question in 8200 words first describe the three heat zones of the earth the earth is divided into three zones three heat zones torrid zones temperate zones and frigid zone first the torrid zone is very close to the equator second the temperate zone is the split into two zone either one or two third the frigid zone is temperature rising cool to warm or warm to cool two what is the importance what is the importance of having a standard time explain by giving the example of india answer the earth has been divided into 24 times zones based on longitudes there are countries 
with many longitudes passing through them so many country may have very variation in their timing therefore the need to follow the common time across which is known as the standard time a longitude passing through the middle of the nations is chosen as the standard meridian for example india has 30 longitudes and there is a variation of 2 hours from gujarat in the west to arunachal pradesh in the east so the meridians 82.5 degree east passing through prayagraj in uttar pradesh is taken as the standard meridians known as ist or the indian standard time think and answer why do you think the international date line is not a straight line answer the international date line is an imaginary line based on 180 degree of longitude to passes through the pacific ocean moving to the east of these line these line sorry move moving to the east of this time sorry this time one day has to be added and moving to the west one day has to be deducted there are no big land masses here but a few as land with the same economic and political importance so the idl assures that a single iceland is not separated so it is a zigzag line sometimes to the east okay student i have done all question in this lesson if you like my videos please like share and subscribe okay student allah is bye